Hey, what's going on, everybody? Max here with BB, and today for 10 Minutes Max, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We are naming it Inverse Day. We are going to be flipping a lot of charts upside down in order to play a little bit of a trick on our minds, which grow so accustomed to looking at the same charts over and over and over again. The mind has a funny way of making things look. So hopefully actually flipping the charts for a lot of you guys will provide some additional perspective and clarity that looking at the same old normal charts upright doesn't do. Guys, before we get into inverse day and have some fun in the charts, do me a solid. Please consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel if you are new here. We are growing so quickly, and it's all thanks to you guys and your consistent support. Let's not waste any more time. So we're actually going to navigate over here first, and we are going to look at others, all right? I'm going to hide all the drawings, okay? We can redo this all together, okay? But we're all kind of looking at this chart, right? And there's a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, we've we've broken structure, you know, from down here. And, oh, this is just not, not good looking and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, like I said, we're going to flip the chart and just take a look at a few things, all right? So let's maybe go down to, like, the daily or two-day, something like that. And we need to flip the chart, okay? We need to flip the chart because the mind has a funny way of playing tricks on us. So what you can see very clearly right here is that this was obviously our bear market, but we flipped the chart. And what we did right here is we basically had this little bear market trend, and then we decided to break down, right? So bear market, we had one, two, three taps. You finally lose it right here. We'll make this red because you lost your support. Again, the chart is flipped, and you broke down like crazy right? And you broke down like crazy and you had a big move, right? Well, let's see what we're doing right now, okay? So here's others right now. And, and just in case I, I forgot to mention this, what others is, is basically it's an index. So it's everything in crypto minus the top 10 by market cap. So it's, it's your altcoin index is what it is. It's the shitcoin index. Altcoins minus Bitcoin, ETH, uh, BNB, Sol, you know, the big ones, right? So let's draw another little trend line right here from the top. What we've been doing recently. Oh, interesting. Oh, how interesting. A very simple trend line. If the chart looked like this, what we would be seeing a lot of right now is people screaming, oh, man, it is over. Right? They say, oh, we have just broken this long trend line. I would be careful. I would be so careful. I mean, look at this. I would be careful. Careful, we're, we just lost this trend. We're, we're about to nuke. But no, what are they saying right now? They're like, oh, you know, the, the economic data this. Or, oh, you know, I, this isn't the real, this isn't the, the trend. You need to break the next high. I, we flip the chart. We're looking at it. We flip the chart. You know, it looks, it's the same chart as this. It's just inverted, right? It's really simple. That's your trend. You broke it, and now you're moving up. And additionally, you know, because we're looking at its inverse day, right? Let's throw it in the daily now. Here's your trend. You got all these lows right here. Grinding, you're an uptrend, really a downtrend, right? And you break and you break trend. And look at what happened here. You broke structure. During this entire trend right here, and we'll even count this one even though it didn't tag the, the trend line perfectly. In this entire trend right here for others, which is your altcoin index, this is the first time in six months that we've actually broken trend and now we're moving down really up, right? This couldn't look more bearish. This It couldn't look more bearish, bullish, right? But it's inverse day, right? But the, the power of you know moving the chart and manipulating the chart just to play a little bit of a trick on your mind, right? Here, I just put it in log mode, but it's the same thing, right? Same exact thing. Look at this. Look what happens when you break your trend. I mean, that's incredible, right? I'll just I'll just redraw this without those dots now in log mode. Look what happens when you, you're in a downtrend and you actually break your trend like this. And additionally, what we're going to do is we're going to throw up RSI. We'll get rid of stochastic and we'll invert it because it's inverse day, and we'll put it in log mode. 
And again, the point of inverse day is just to show you guys like this is what, you know, this is what the chart looks like. It's just flipped, right? Because your mind has a way of playing tricks on you when you look at the same thing over and over and over again. So what I want to show you guys right here is I want to show you guys what happens. And I just I flipped RSI as well. And we'll make the uh, the overbought gradient fill. We'll make it uh, we'll make it red. OK, so again, this is flipped. But look at when the majority of the gains actually occur for others. OK, the majority of the gains occur for others when RSI gets below the 70 line. Again, we're inverted. Don't let my language trick you. OK, right here. Make it red and a little bit more see through right here below the 70 right this is when we started to get really oversold right here really overbought look at the kind of gains that happen and look at what we just did right here we just started to break through that line we just started to get into that region of hey we are now in a very very strong downtrend because look at what happened during the previous two they break down, and this one was a little bit of a breakdown as well, right? You were in a downtrend, and then you break down. RSI gets below 70, really above 70, and then you rip, right? This thing looks like it's going to capitulate. Like this chart to me looks like it's straight up going to do this. Like it's just going to collapse. The chart looks terrible. It looks cooked. It's really bullish. Hope you guys are following along. Shout out, Joe. Um... Let's flip this back now. Let's flip this back now, and let's keep it moving, right? Let's keep it moving. I actually want to pull up Pepe because Pepe is having a really great day. Pepe, the king of meme coins this cycle for large caps, without question. Um, let's pull up Pepe. Pull up the U.S. dollar pair. All right, we will get rid of all these fibs for right now. And what we're going to do with Pepe is we are going to flip the chart. Okay, and we are going to flip the RSI again. So here's Pepe on inverse day. And let's draw some trend lines out now. Where have we seen this pattern before? Hmm, interesting. Downtrend, hit this trend line numerous times. Again, one, two, three, four, five broke down, capitulated. And look at what happened to the daily time frame RSI right as we were starting to break out. Hmm. It broke through the 70 line. Interesting. Right here. Right there. I should have made these uh these dots green, right? Cuz it's support. It's inverse day, right? Got to respect inverse day. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it the right way. All right, there we go. So holding support, you break down, RSI capitulates below 70, and that's when a majority of the gains occur. I mean, look at look at how look at the gains that occurred right here, right? Or the losses, right? Cuz it's inverse day. We're starting to break down all while RSI is below the 70 line. Right? Look at the capitulation that happened. See that? Really simple. I hope everybody's having fun on inverse day. Let's draw some more trend lines. We're not done yet. All right, what have we just been doing? Well, let's draw another trend line. Interesting. Interesting. Look at this. One, two, three. We'll round up four, five. And now we're breaking down. And look at RSI. It's below the 70 line, right? There it is right there, below the 70 line, below the 70 line. Look at that. After months of chop solidation and a nice downtrend, where have we seen that before? Look at what's happening. You're breaking down. And you're going to continue to break down. It's really simple. 
Is everybody having fun on inverse day? I mean, it helps to provide a, a different perspective, right? Because if you were looking at this chart, you'd go, this thing looks cooked. It's time to short everything. Look at, look at this. Oh, it looks terrible. This thing's breaking down. We just saw this pattern over here. Look at this. Oh, it's breaking down. I mean, I'm expecting new lows, right? Just like we saw over here, I'm expecting new lows. But everybody has PTSD from this, and they didn't believe it over here when, I, when we were buying it at BB as well. All the receipts are on our, on our YouTube right here. Go look up the first time we talked about Pepe. We told you what was going to happen right in here. I'm telling you what's going to happen again right in here, what's happening already. People just, they're, they're, they're constantly in denial about the obvious, and their, their brains have a way of playing tricks on them. And I'm telling you, I'm looking at this, and what, six months of consolidation? Trend is broken. We're now moving down, really up. RSI, again, below the 70 line. I mean, this move is just getting started. We finally just broke through structure, right? Like, this is where you're at. You know, like you, you got, you, you finally broke structure, right? Like you got below here, you broke your, your structure, you broke your trend, the teal box. Your teal box for right here is this level. You broke trend, right? This thing looks like it's over. It looks like it's done. Goodbye. Tuck you in, kiss you on the forehead, good night. It's going to capitulate. That's really bullish. All right, let's pull up, like, let's do Bitcoin, right? Why not Bitcoin? Let's do Bitcoin. Ooh, this is interesting. I wasn't going to show this, but I actually think I'm going to now. All right, here is Bitcoin. Let's zoom out a little bit and look at Bitcoin. Here is the Bitcoin with some RSI below. We'll pull that up in a minute here. Where have we seen patterns like this before? Let's actually go down to the three-day. Hmm. Very, very interesting. You know, looking at the bear market, right? Let's see what happened over here. It's inverse day. You broke your trend, right? One, we gotta make it green. Two, three, you break trend. Shift of trend. Retest, now you're in a downtrend, right? And Bitcoin has just been doing the same kind of thing where it breaks down and then it ranges for a couple hundred days. And then once you break trend again, right, just like you did over here, this is a super bear setup, right? So you're in this giant, giant trend right here. I mean, we could even, we could even draw this, right? Look at that retest, right? So there's kind of two trends that got broken here. This was this was incredible, right? Then you break down, then you retest it, and then you start shorting it, right? So you kind of had a trend within a trend, but you get the point. Then you retest, and you're moving sideways. This candle right here, when you break down out of this, right? When you break down out of this, and here I can, here's what I can do is I can turn these custom candle colors off, and I'll actually invert these just to help you guys out. Change the candle colors. You're looking at this right here, you break down, you retest, and you enter this range, and then you break down out of this range, and you start free falling. Look at what happened. So the way that I look at Bitcoin's chart right now is either we're in something like this, you know, about to break down, or we're just gonna basically draw another range, and you could do, you know, something like this. And, you know, we're somewhere around here about to drop down, right? But what you're going to end up seeing is a giant, you know, a giant breakdown, right? And let, let's mark out when RSI got over 70 again, below 70, right? Because we flipped the chart. How about last time? We're in a giant range. Bitcoin was in here. Happy inverse day to those that celebrate. For 192 days, we'll just round up and say 200 because you could kind of go from like right there. 216 from when we marked marked down to went sideways, you know, over 200 days. And then Bitcoin RSI gets below 70. We'll mark that out right here. 
And then look what happens, right? Then we're in a super, super strong uptrend, right? Isn't that beautiful? We actually had a nice big move over here as well, right? Bitcoin RSI gets below 70. Strong, strong trend. Look at what happens. So we're not quite there yet from the RSI perspective. And this is actually on the three day, right? We could go down to like the daily or something like that too. I just wanted to show more of high, like ultra high time frame examples. You know, but RSI, you can draw trend lines on this as well, has broken that trend and is trending down towards 70, which suggests to me another big move is brewing. But this range here, guys, this range here, like this is a very, very bullish chart. Like here's your previous cycle high right here. Would you bid this chart? Would would you buy this chart right here? This chart looks like the floor is about to give out. This chart to me looks like the floor is about to give out. There's your previous cycle all time high or low, right? This looks like it's about to give out and you're about to see a move like this. Straight down, just like that. That looks like the floor is about to give out. You come back to support and you sit and you chop and you can't break off of it like that. That's so bearish. That's so incredibly bearish. It's really bullish, right? Happy inverse day. So anyways, I'm looking at all these charts and I'm just like, there's a lot of liquidity down here. A lot of these lows can get taken. It looks really bullish. We're going to jump over to uh, the BB terminal, guys. And we're going to look at the terminal. I want to show you some charts over here now, right? You're seeing open interest climbing, which is good. People are, you know, openly interested. You've seen some little flushes, but they keep getting, you know, bid up. Looking at the agar, you know, a lot, a lot of transacting coming through here. Um, I got it on a really, really low setting right now. But again, you can see just so many, so many orders coming through. I love the agar. But I want to show you our liquidations map here on the BB terminal, guys. Let's go to the six-month view and take a look at it. And you can see where all of the liquidity is resting, where all of the traders are going to get stopped out at, right? We've been, this is the six-month view. This level right here is basically where all of your shorts get taken out of the market. You know, this is where all of these liquidations are going to occur. You're going to see billions in liquidations above these highs right over here. Billions right? Here's another way to look at it too. It's going to basically show the same thing. It just paints it a little bit differently. But this is what we're trending up towards, is breaking this high up here um, that we set at the very end of July, moving up into this liquidation pocket, right? And then once you're above that, you're in price discovery, you know, then, then you're in price discovery. Um, and I also wanted to jump over to the DCA page here and show you guys this on-chain metric that we have provided by the BB terminal, okay? So here's the Bitcoin price over here in yellow. This is just to show you perspective as to why we are not in any sort of different cycle than we've ever been in, right? This is the exact same as we've always been in. And then I actually have one more trading view chart I want to show you guys as well. So here's the Puel multiple. Here's a description. You guys can look it up. Um, but basically it says the Peel multiple is calculated by dividing the value of daily issuance in U.S. dollars by the 365-day moving average of daily issuance in USD. This metric, okay, blah, 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 blah. We're going to show you the technicals. You can look it up later, okay? Something that we do every cycle. Let's go all the way back 2011 through 2014 cycle, okay? What we do for the Peel multiple is we'll set our bear market low, and then we'll get like one big pop, sell off, and then you basically put in like your cycle peak. And this was a weird cycle because you had two. Okay, but it's still valid. How about the next cycle? 2015 through 2017. Peel multiple puts in a bottom. Mid-cycle top, right? Right up here. Right before Bitcoin goes into parabola. Sells off and then makes a higher high and that's your cycle top. Okay. How about the last cycle? Peel multiple put in its bottom. Mid-cycle rally, correction, high or low for Peel multiple, and then high or high, that's your cycle top, right? Look at the pattern. Put it in a low, 
mid-cycle correction, sell-off, all-time high. Fuel multiple cycle low in the bear market, mid-cycle correction, higher low, all-time high, higher high on fuel multiple. Last cycle, bear market low, mid-cycle correction, higher low on fuel multiple, put in a higher high, that's your cycle top. What do we just do? Bear market low, mid-cycle top on fuel multiple, higher low. We're about to go and put in a new high for the fuel multiple, right? It's the same pattern we've always done. Same exact thing. Same exact thing that we've always done. All right, and this is just one of our many indicators here. Uh, one of our many, many indicators here for uh, the BB terminal. Um, here's MVRV right here. So again, kind of similar view, right? You do the same thing, mid-cycle correction, then you move up. But yeah, anyways, you guys can uh, you guys can check this out. Links are in the description below. But I want to go back to trading view here, um, and I want to show you guys one more chart. I actually, I was going to do this, and then I forgot. So let me pull this up here. So this is actually super interesting, all right? So we're going to put on the line chart, and we'll make it green. And then we're going to put up... Then we're going to put up our fractals for the previous two cycles. Look at what we're doing right here. From cycle bottom all the way through cycle top, both the 2016 and 2017 cycle and the 2020 and 2021 cycle are here fractaled out in purple and blue. I've got the Bitcoin halvings marked out on all the cycles, our current one in green right here. 2016 2017 cycle orange dot orange dot um, and then last cycle uh, Bitcoin having I also have the US presidential elections marked out look at what we're doing right now we've perfectly synced up with the previous two cycles and this is the acceleration phase this is when things heat up right here right after the Bitcoin having close to the presidential election shouldn't be a surprise that we're moving up and since it's inverse day, let's see if we can get this to, let's see if we can get this to try to hide all this for now, just because it's a lot to look at. This will be cool to look at it inverted, I think. I've actually never done this before. We'll get the drawing backs after. Um... All right, here's your chart. This is where we're at, from bear market low for all of our cycles through the present. Look at where we're at. Look at what's about to happen. It's over. It's inverse day. Happy inverse day. This thing looks cooked, just like the previous two cycles. Doing the same thing. Does the same thing every cycle. Look at that. Crazy. Look at that. Send it down. Send it all down, just like the previous two cycles. Let's do this right here. Let's do this. Split the difference. 200K is right here. Split the difference. Send it down. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for being here. Before you guys go, please consider liking the video and then also subscribing to the channel. If you are new here and you enjoyed the content, we greatly appreciate your guys' support. Before you go, please consider checking out the links in the description below. The first link will take you to our website where you can browse our premium products. We have some nice offerings for you guys. You can basically sign up right now at a discount while we're in beta for our BB Terminal Plus Telegram alerts, guys. It's $97 per month. Definitely sign up before prices go up. I gave you a sneak preview of it in the video. You've got a plethora of awesome on-chain data, active trading with Agar. Actual trade ex trading execution is coming very, very soon. Um, spaghetti charts, heat maps, literally everything you could ever want or need bundled into one neat and tidy, convenient package, guys, is truly the Swiss Army knife of tools and resources. And we spent a lot of time and money developing it on our own, the best product in crypto for you guys to use. 
And again, you have our guidance using it. So don't go into these markets, you know, without x-ray goggles, without the proper tools and resources to fight the battles. Check out BB Terminal plus Telegram. And if you really want to bundle yourself into the best potential for success, check out the BB Terminal packages plus the two Discord options, guys. What you, what, you, what you can expect in the Discord is three hours per day of private live voice calls with me and the entire BB team and community. What we share there is stuff that we don't talk about on YouTube. We have fully transparent analyst channels. You get to see all of my real-time positioning and technical analysis and updates, things that I don't talk about here on YouTube or on X, guys. So totally behind the curtain, and that's for the entire BB team, not just me. So we do three hours a day of private Q&A and calls, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and if you miss them, they are all recorded. And the truth is, guys, like everybody needs their group. Everybody needs their pack. Okay, this market is simply too big to navigate alone. If we're not that group for you, then that's fine. You might just love our free content and we love that you love it. But if you really want to succeed in this market, you need to surround yourself with winners. You need to surround yourself with a group of people that can watch every angle and area of this market, guys that you know, guys that you can trust. All right. And we have an awesome hive mind and an awesome community. And you will see that although it's expensive, there is no better value on this market than what we are providing here at BB. Nobody is doing what we're doing, and we want you to got, We want you guys to be a part of that because we're really proud of what we built um, as a team and as a community. Like our community steps up, it's great. But if if all that doesn't sound good to you, but you do want to take your TA and FA to the next level and expedite your journey, guys, check out the BB Academy. We've got a few free courses and some paid ones as well. All right, you should see three on the website right now. Check out my free trading view one, guys. If you thought my charts were great and you want to learn how to chart and make your trading view charts look really great, easier to understand, check that out, guys. It's totally free. But if you're ready to dive in and take your trading and investing to the next level and you want to learn all of our tips, tricks, secrets, strategies that we have effectively used to navigate these markets cumulatively as a team over decades Check out the paid course, guys. It'll teach you everything that you could ever need or want in order to navigate these markets. We put about six months of time into it. I can honestly say there is not a better course for trading on the entire internet. There's a lot of good free stuff, some of which we do. We do a lot of free stuff. But there is a difference between something that's paid and something that's free, and you guys will see that right away when you sign up. So, guys, check out the links in the description below. Join us somewhere, guys. Join us in the in the BB Terminal plus Telegram. Join us in the Discord or the BB Academy. Or if not, just continue watching our content and leave us a thumbs up and a comment. Appreciate the support, and we will see you next time. Take care. <music>